the most recent report from um, the intergovernmental uh, folks on climate change is very grim. Mm -hmm. And yet you have to agree with the critics of big labor who say, where's the labor leadership on this topic? Well, the international labor community tends to be uh, more forward-looking on the issue. And there's reasons for that, um, not just cultural or ideological. The U.S. unions don't have the social protections that a lot of unions in, say, Europe do, or even increasingly in the global south, countries like Brazil and South Africa. Workers are not um, as thrown on the scrap heap in quite the same way as they are in the United States. So if you've got a job, a union job, you want to cling to that as much as you can. So this is a this is uh, an impediment to the uh, labor leadership in the United States playing the kind of role that it might otherwise do. It. Although in this country, we're busily shrink shrinking the public sector on yeah. every front. Well, that's, that's why the United States, unfortunately, is lagging behind the world or many countries in the world in making the kind of transitions that are necessary. In Germany now, there are 700 renewable energy cooperatives. Up to 25% of its power generation is in renewables. It's installed as much solar energy last year as the entire installed capacity of solar in the United States. So this is very, very popular in Germany. The recent election shown that there was no real challenge to this agenda. It makes absolute sense environmentally, socially, and economically.